All right, guys. Oh, I don't know if you can hear this. Probably not on this. Camera, but what I think this is is the closing ceremony of this uh, four day, I will call it a Bliss Ninny Hootenanny that has been going on uh, two blocks from my house for. Four nights. I have for the past four nights. I have been listening uh, to I don't know were there thirty or forty live bands two blocks from my house. Here, this is winding up. It is now going on a little past ten o'clock at night on Sunday night, August eleventh. 2024 and right on through a hurricane and everything else I have been hearing these uh, I don't know if it's dozens or hundreds of these mostly young beautiful people not all of them but the vast majority of these these young beautiful people Uh, doing whatever it is that young, beautiful people do. And, and, and I, I've noticed a pattern. Uh, this is the fourth year of this big-ass party that gets bigger every year. And uh, I remember the first year, I, I mean, I actually went there and attended it every night when it was still kind of small you know, when it was kind of like a, a potluck with a uh, probably 60 or 70 hippies getting together and having a potluck and playing music together. <clears throat> and each year it has gotten bigger and bigger and bigger as the word has spread among the, uh, the young, beautiful people crowd where I, I mean I don't know where they come from and the and the dude having it he really is I mean he, he's a great guy he is the he is the reigning prince of the young beautiful people uh, you know the type uh, I have no idea I have no fucking clue how this dude ended up two blocks from me this, uh, the, you know, this movie star, gorgeous, uh, charismatic uh, young man. Uh, how the hell he ended up here. Uh, anyway, but somehow the universe has put this young man in, kind of in my path and... Uh, So we've always been friendly with each other. We've never had a, a, a bad word. But, but kind of what I've been noticing uh, over the past three years with each passing year that, uh, and, and maybe it's complete coincidence, but I don't think so. But I, I notice every year as this party of all of these young, beautiful people gets bigger and bigger and more and more popular that uh, that that I always get uh, like seriously depressed uh, being here two blocks away from uh, from from this and and you know and don't get me wrong I mean, Whenever I go by there, they're absolutely, you know, just welcoming me, welcoming me with their open arms. And, of course, they're holding their hands out for a uh, $200 wristband. But, 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 I mean, the dude having it, I mean, I could go here for free. I wouldn't even have to pay the $200. Uh, I mean, obviously, the guy 
would say, oh, that's ham bone, you, you know, let him on in. And so I can't even really use that as an excuse, the $200 uh, entrance fee. It's just, uh, and, 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 and I'm making money off of the thing. Uh, I made $700 last year and a little over $200 this year. Off. So let's call it, a, you know, th th this event has put $1,000 in my pocket uh, over the past couple of years. And uh, it, w with all of that said, I, I, I don't know what it is that with each p passing year having this, uh, the, these dozens, if not hundreds, of, of young beautiful people uh, just uh, I, I guess just in love with themselves in love with each other in, in love with the world uh, you know dancing around in their little $200 wristband hippie uh, psilocybin induced fog uh, just <laughs> You know, they're getting out there and enjoying it while they still can. I, I have no clue. I am completely clueless about how completely fucking clueless these uh, mostly young people are. Uh, but I, I, I just find myself year after year while this is unfolding you know right down the street from me just getting more and more depressed it's just uh it, it i i don't know exactly what it is dredging up inside of me uh just about i just uh, I w w d d just listening to all of these bands and all of these young beautiful people, you know, sharing the love and uh, all, all that shit that uh, Vegematic tries to uh, talk about on his channel and convince people that he really believes in still, and and and. and what is it about this, uh, uh, about all of these young, beautiful people getting out there and enjoying it while they still can, that just throws me into this, just this abject black hole of, uh, uh, of depression. Uh, it's just... Uh, I, 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 you know, each year I try to analyze it. What is it that uh, that touches that that triggers me so much about it, and 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 just and just, and just brings up uh, uh, all of this self-loathing. Uh, and just this, just this, this, this complete just just defeatist bottomless pit of despair uh, look looking at myself and, uh, and 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 there there is no way <laughs> that, that I could that, that no fucking way that uh, I could go down there now I, I mean I'm a block and a half away uh, from this right now sitting here alone in my truck up on the hillside and getting ready to go uh, spend the night in seahorse in the most isolated of my tiny houses uh, listening to the closing ceremonies of this four-day love fest of young, beautiful people. Uh, just, just feeling, just, 
there's this bottomless well of of despair of loneliness of just this bleak black depression so what I've been doing for the it's going on 11 o'clock at night so pretty much for the last six hours what I've been doing is just is just going through these YouTube videos one after another you know this whole thing and even uh, Gloria Nanati was making some comment along these lines so I I think Gloria I think you were being ironic darling uh, but but you you know this old saw that that I, that I have mentioned that uh, that I have no right to be depressed I have no right to be depressed you know I've I've created this beautiful place up here in New York uh, I'm not homeless I'm not hungry uh, I'm, I'm not rich but I'm not broke uh, I, I don't have any sort of you know real financial pressures in my life other than whatever is going on with my bronchial tubes and my throat. I, I have no health issues. <coughs> I have no, uh, you, you know, obvious physical health issues to be complaining about I I'm not homeless somewhere on the planet uh, I actually have some friends and so because there's people more miserable than I am you know that 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 uh, that I have no reason to be depressed. It's it, it's it's uh, I I am a a a spoiled brat little whiner. I'm a little drama queen queen whiner that uh, has no reason to be depressed because. There's millions and probably billions of people on the planet more depressed and more fucked than I am or ever will be. You know, like those uh, 18 or 88 people buried in a fucking uh, garbage dump collapse in Uganda yesterday. You know, those kind of people... Because 18 people were buried in a garbage dump collapse in Uganda, Hambone Little Tail, in Candor, New York, does not have any reason to be depressed when he's two blocks away from a party full of young, beautiful people, Bliss Nannies, <clears throat> who would be quite happy to welcome him into their little fold. Uh, so what I've been doing for the past several hours is just is, is, is just clicking on. Good God, I, I've probably clicked on like 30 YouTube videos. You know, seeking out stories of people <clears throat> who are more fucked than I am. Hopefully, are more fucked than I ever will be and somehow they don't seem to be as depressed as I am uh, so this is supposed to cheer me up that people that there is a planet full of people more fucked than I am well guess what 
it makes you more depressed than ever. There, there, there's shit out there on YouTube a hell of a lot more depressing than the Doomosphere. If you think the, uh, the, the, you know, the fucking collapse of the planet and the sixth mass extinction and the obliteration of all, every one of our fellow Earthlings off the face of the planet is it, it, fucking depressing. Uh, good fucking God. <clears throat> There, there's shit on YouTube. Some of, some of the shit that I've looked at, uh, the past few uh, hours. You know, of, of course, soft white underbelly is always a good place to start. But uh, one, one of the recurring themes I, I've heard in these, you know, I've, I've watched several things that, about homeless people. And anyway, people who like like my age and older, who have who have just woken up one day, uh, and, and and looked around at their lives, and, and they're asking the question, how the fuck did it ever come to this? That you know, is it one of the recurring themes that I hear? When I'm listening to these videos about, particularly about people my age and older, uh, is they just cannot believe that this happened to them. There was uh, actually uh, this one, the, he was one of the members of the Temptations he ended up uh, living, uh, he ended up homeless living on uh, Venice Beach where he died. Uh, ho uh, the homeless guy, what was his name? David Waller, I think. One of the temptations, like, e e e e e you know, how the fuck? Did, uh, did, 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 you know, one of the, you know, he, he was saying, there was this interview with it, and he, and he goes, I played for the fucking queen. I played for the fucking queen. Uh, and, and, and here I am, uh, living in a fucking tent, uh, in, in, uh, in Venice. Uh... In, 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 and how the fuck did this happen? And then he ended up dying uh, on, on the goddamn streets. Uh, so I guess I'm supposed to carry away from that because one of the members of the Temptations died homeless and broke uh, on the street. Uh, that I am, that I have no right to be depressed uh, but because I own a little shack on the side of the road and three tiny houses. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, how did it come to this? How did it come to this? Oh, fuck, how did it come to this?
I have no fucking idea how it's come to this. I have no fucking idea how it's come to this. Sitting here alone in a goddamn gas sucking truck on the side of a hill talking to my imaginary friends while I block and a half from here. There's 200 fucking young beautiful people getting out there and enjoying it while they still can. While I'm thinking all I want to fucking do is go to bed tonight and not fucking wake up in the morning. Because this shit sucks. Fucking sucks. I despise my fucking life. This is the absolute fucking pointlessness of this fucking existence. One of the videos I watched was this something like a a 97 year old philosopher reflects on his life and uh, <clears throat> 97 years just looking back like he, he, he you know he never thought never entertained the notion that that he was going to live to be 97 fucking years old and uh, the the number one word he used to describe himself his life was loneliness and uh, and he just 97 years this philosopher, self-described philosopher trying to figure out the, the entire fucking point of his existence. And he says, that's what it is. It's existing as opposed to living. And, and he goes, it all comes down to being pointless, pointless. 97 years on this fucking planet of existing on this fucking planet is pointless. That the, the very question, what is the point, the point of our lives is a foolish question. There is no point. There's no fucking point. There's no point. There's no purpose. And then you die. And the party's over. Turn out the lights. The party's over.